hoping that it solved our problems. And it'll just be standing there in the center of the room, and that's... I've solved all of it. Is my lantern still on? No, it's not. Okay. Just had a weird glow. Downstairs. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am genuinely confused. See, I go up, it points down, but. Lower four, yeah. What the... Okay. Whatever. Oh, my child, I'm happy that you are here. I've had an idea that I wish to present to you. Please do. I've known the Mother Cardinal for quite some time. She is a formidable woman, gifted and diplomatically skilled. I fear that your cousin might be a little defenseless when dealing with her, and would like to give him a few weapons what do you have in mind diplomacy is not only a matter of formal encounters and choreographed etiquette if we had the means to action more personal leverage the mother cardinal could not manipulate your cousin how could we ever find anything of that sort everyone has nasty little secrets my child it's our task to discover cornelia's okay. very well Let's go and discover what the governor would rather keep hidden from the world. Excellent. How would you like to go about this? We must search her apartments in St. Matthias. They'll be guarded, of course. But if we are discreet, that shouldn't be a problem. This is taking quite a risk. The congregation's reputation could suffer if we're caught. And my cousin's position would be weakened. I know. But keep in mind that I know the palace extremely well. And if we want to be sure to pass without being noticed, we need only dress ourselves up as servants. That would improve our chances. Well, let's do it. Okay. Well, I guess we're doing another side quest now because, well... He wasn't... Can I talk to you now while you're in my group? What can I do for you, my child? Ask you what I actually want to talk about? Let's talk about this. Not as problems. I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The Noughts are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands. And, of course, seek out the Bishop Domitius. I'll see you later, Father. Take care, my child. Well, at least we finally found you. Side quests. Go take care of that. Uh, 
That was really frustrating to find you, man. Hope he knows that. Cutting through, cutting through. I wonder what the servants wear. Because I definitely do not look like a servant. Uh, kissing on the other side. Yeah. Are the troopers, but what do the servants look like? Unless I consider those the servants. Oh, we're here. Hello. What do you want from me, my son? Sir de Sarde, emissary of the congregation. Ah. The congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? Dude, I already know who you are, but whatever. I believe you have a few problems with the Norts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my son. And of course, the pagan Norts would be among them. They are very secretive and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature, just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings, we suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a nought suffering from the blood plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. Uh, very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? Nope. Wait, we're still, uh, here for a thing. See, the thing is, is logic is somewhat sound, but I mean, they could just be immune to the disease. You know? Like, animals can't get some of the diseases that humans get. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Not that I'm saying these people are animals or anything. That well, should be pretty easy to sneak in if everybody's just going to be staring at the wall or the fire. Note from a servant, your eminence, we have reorganized the basement room as you ordered. The damage caused by your excellence's guests was substantial, and we regretfully had to replace the carpets which had been heavily stained. I hope you will find the new carpets to your taste. I made sure the key to your room was on your desk as usual. Check over in here, is there anything exciting? Oh. Nothing exciting. Okay. I gotta close my window because, man, they're getting loud out there. So, just a second. I don't know if it's being picked up on the mic, but 
it is loud for me, so I'm just going to assume it's... Excuse me, servants coming through. Do 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 down to the bait. Wait, what? What's that one? It says, find out what's hidden under the palace. And I th what is that one? Find out what's hidden. We'll go down since we're already here. Loot, gold coins, ammo, and shrooms. This area of the palace is forbidden to visitors by order of the Mother Cardinal. We did not know. Please excuse us. The basements are for servants only. Very well. We'll go back up. Disguise the team as servants. Comfortable vest. Zero of three. Okay. I'm really hoping I don't buy those. Can I, like, knock someone out? Can I steal their stuff? So this floor is what I want. It's probably that room on the left. Key to secret room in the palace. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna need some comfortable vests. Uh, I'm assuming, do I have any? Nope. Okay. Let's go shopping? <laughs> uh, all I see is a crafting table. Honey letter shop. Coin tavern. Coin guard barracks. Nope. Hmm. Unless was this. Okay, it's right over here. So I'm guessing we can buy it or find it. Hopefully it's not overly expensive because who wants to spend their money on a quest item, right? Whoa. Welcome to the best holy item shop in San Mateus. Seems like it's the only one. Really? Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Who's all ready to wear comfortable, comfortable vests? Apparently the rest of it can stay the same, but uh, you just need that best part off. <laughs> Super disguised. Ignore the helmets, the guns, the swords, the gloves, the pants, the boots, all that stuff. But you got a comfortable vest on, you look like a servant. Ignoring the fact that the guy saw us literally two seconds ago. We're like, yes, we're servants now. You know, the, the serving kind. Excuse me, coming through. Just a, just a servant. Nothing fancy. Don't mind me. Just serving things. I doubt there's anything in here, but I'm checking for items. I know where the room is, but. This is a very unique place. The smell of stupor and vice reign as its masters. You're not wrong. 
We should search this place. Oh, for goodness sake! This room reeks of alcohol. And not just any old alcohol, if my nose does not deceive me. Cornelia always had great taste when it came to drinking. Fair enough, but I mean... It seems that someone forgot their earring. Uh, here is an object of more than questionable taste. A woman from a good family would never wear it. It's junk. The kind of thing a courtesan would wear. I didn't know you were an expert on the subject, Father. The subject of jewelry? No, of courtesans. We are Ooh. here at the heart of human depravity. Outrageous luxury, excessively priced alcohol, obvious debauchery. Surely this is enough to incriminate the Mother Cardinal. No, my child. These things are common in certain circles, even in Teleme, unfortunately. Cornelia may well have organized these things for others. These parties might be of use in gaining some political favor. We must find out who is involved and learn more. The earring that we found may help us with that. We could ask at the brothel if it belongs to a prostitute. We should continue searching. Perhaps we missed something. Now, as soon as you're done chatting with me, I can... Uh... Okay, where's the... Oh, yeah, there's the key prompt. Seriously, who would... By Cardinal Cornelius' account book. This account book lists many loans made from moneylender called the Magpie. For every expense, there's a corresponding money input which completely cancels it. The sums are astronomical. However, there is no mention of where this money comes from. There are also many recurring payments to a certain candy cane. This document is highly important. By reading it carefully, you could learn a lot. The Mother Cardinal apparently borrows large amounts of money from a moneylender. Actually, enormous sums. What's more, she does so quite regularly. How does she manage to give it all back? Hmm. And the name Candy Cane crops up several times. Quite suspicious, don't you think? This sweet person must be doing her huge favors to get these sums. I think we have everything we need. There is probably a connection between these pleasure parties and the account books. Let's ask a few questions. The moneylender is well established. He can be found near the main square. As for this candy cane, the name doesn't ring any bells to me, but the moneylender must know more about him. We can also go and gather information at the coin tavern. Perhaps the manager knows him. Sounds like we know what to do, boys. Let us servants leave this area. Just casually. Easy does it. Can, uh... <laughs> Here's a fun quest one. Question the prostitutes. All right, before we forget, it's uh... Yeah, oh, geez, look at that thing. Whew. I need endurance for armor, strength for weapons. Ugh. I'm assuming that was, looks like it was yours. All right, lads. Group is all suited up and looking good again. Let's go talk to some prostitutes. Here's something you don't get to say every day playing a video game. Let's look sharp. Start with uh, you. Can I get you anything? I'm here for something else. 
Can I ask you a couple of questions? If you wish. What would you like to know? Uh, let's talk about the Mother Cardinal. Do you think that the Mother Cardinal may have ever been here? <laughs> Are you drunk or something? Okay, apparently not. Let's talk about your big clients. You sometimes deliver goods to your big clients. Isn't that right? Of course. The rich don't like to get drunk among mere mortals. And have you ever supplied anyone from the palace? Yes, that has happened. It suits them. And who places these orders? Well, a steward, of course. Don't you know how things work? A woman? Dressed in a long green cloak? No, the steward is more discreet. On the other hand, the person in the big green coat... The steward speaks to her sometimes. They know each other or work together. Hmm. Candy cane? What can you tell me about a certain candy cane? Candy cane? Everyone speaks about him or has heard of him, but no one really knows him. And what do they say about him? Here, nothing. You need to go downstairs for that sort of thing. To the games room and the brothel? Yes, that's more the kind of place where they talk about him. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. Are you... Why do you still have a thing above your head? Right. I'll leave for now. Uh, nope, that's a straight out circle. This stuff freaks me out that these people don't do anything in this room. Every time. It's like walk, move, do something. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? Uh, we're here to talk about Mother Cardinal. Has the Mother Cardinal ever come here to place bets? <laughs> the Mother Cardinal? And why not Saint Matthias himself while you're at it? Fair enough. Candy Cane? I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. Obviously. Even though I would prefer it wasn't the case. He's a sort of organizer. He captures most of the beasts who fight in the arena. How is that a problem? Apparently, he's fixed a few fights. These kind of rumors aren't good for my business. If that's the case, why don't you stop him? He has friends, protectors. Without solid evidence, no one will lift a finger. And the only ones who wanted to speak of his cartel have disappeared. Hmm. Do you know where I could find him? He often hangs out around the port at night, but I strongly advise you to stay away from the guy. I know how to look after myself. Thanks for the information. I must be going. Next time, then. Yeah, that's dope. Oh, you still have information. Holy moly. What kind of outfit is that? A feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. Made my you choice. Of that, I can assure you. Come on. So, have you found what you were looking for? Let's just say that I'm gathering information. My treasures are worth their price. I promise you that you will get your money's worth. For you, I'm sure we can make a special arrangement. Uh, let Petrus intervene. Father, do you want to explain to this man why we are here? Of course. We are not here for your services, but to lead an investigation. Several clients of yours have made a complaint. Precious objects disappearing after your employees' visits. People in very high places are concerned, which explains why we've been asked to take care of it. This cannot be. I... Well, listen. Come in. But please be discreet. Thank you for your cooperation. It's greatly appreciated. Doesn't even name just speak to pimp. Hello, prostitute. Look, a new face. Oh, but wouldn't that be... Hello, father. I... Uh, oh, hello. Hmm. 
We would like to know if you know who this earring belongs to. Is it maybe yours? Absolutely not. I am careful not to leave my belongings with clients, and I have no desire to answer your questions. That doesn't fall within my services. Very well. Goodbye. I mean, you got a point. Hello? There are too many of you for me alone, my little lambs. Sorry, madam, but we're here to ask other favors of you. This question might seem a little surprising, but do you know who this earring might belong to? Why? It's mine. I, I lost it when... How did you get hold of it? Are you sure you want to broach that subject here? You're right. Come with me. Well, what do you want? Why are you giving me back my earring? You know where we found it, don't you? Obviously. I realized as soon as I got back that I'd lost it. I imagine your pimp does not know that you take part in these parties. He doesn't dabble in this at all? No. Do not say anything to him, I beg you. He's on my case enough as it is. Then I suggest you answer my questions. <sighs> what would you like to know? Uh, let's talk about those party goers. Could you tell us who you saw at the parties? Rich people, or better. They seemed very rich and important to me, but I don't know them. Okay, let's find out about the organizer. Do you know who organizes these parties? Not really, no. A steward pays me when I go, but I don't see anyone else, apart from the clients. You can't even give me a single name. No, the only person who sometimes speaks to this steward is a woman who is always wearing a green coat. She never takes part in the festivities. But the steward rushes over whenever she arrives. Okay, let's talk about Mother Cardinal. Do you think that an important person from Teleme could have partaken in these soirees? You're thinking of Mother Cardinal, aren't you? You lot really think we are a bunch of degenerates. You're hardly a shining example of virtue, my child. Just answer our questions. Sorry, Father, I don't know the Mother Cardinal. But I strongly doubt she dabbles in that. You don't think you could recognize her, and you don't think you've crossed paths. What a testimony. Oh, look at that. 100%. Woo. Try to learn a bit more about her. Admit it. You must know more than you're letting on. It's virtually impossible not to recognize someone while being so close to these influential people. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I was able to recognize someone once. Even with a mask on, I'm good at recognizing my clients. Please continue. I'm all ears. I don't want to implicate anyone, but he is of no real importance, and you've probably never even heard of him. It's the local moneylender. I know very well who you're referring to, my dear. But I didn't mention anything to you, huh? This stays between us. I don't even remember the subject of this conversation anymore. Let's talk about the woman in the green coat. This woman in the green coat. Could you tell me about her? She always hides her face and never joins us. Then she disappears into a little office and locks the door. I see. She is quite important then. Candy Cane? Do you know someone who goes by the name of Candy Cane? Everyone does. He is a powerful person. So his name makes the rounds. Have you ever spotted him at these pleasure parties? In all honesty, I wouldn't even be able to recognize him. I've heard his name before, but that's all. Thank you for your help. Be sure not to mention this to anyone. I'd lose my clients if they suspected me of speaking about them, you know. Seriously, I feel like if you're going to pick a power name, don't pick Candyman. Candy Cane. Or any part of Candy. I mean, there must be better choices. I mean, I can't say I've, you know, ever been in this sort of line of work where I needed a name, but... Let's cut through this really weird kitchen. Hello. Can I get you anything? 
Look who it is. I feel that once again you're not here to support my business. Definitely not. I'm looking for a woman who comes here. She always wears a long green coat. Yes, I have seen this coat before. But I have no idea who is beneath it, if that's what you're asking. All I know is that I've seen her speaking to a regular, a steward of the palace who comes to place big orders. Always prime choice. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. All right, time to go talk to an innkeeper. Oh, he's... Oh. Right. Downstairs we go. Or actually... Mm, probably get to it from the stairs over here. Hello. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? Oh, woman, green cape. I'm looking for someone. A woman wearing a big green coat. Yeah, I know who you mean. She's a good client. She comes in, especially for the big fights, and she has prime information. Do you know where I can find her? No, I don't even know her name. She wouldn't happen to be coming back to collect some winnings, would she? No, and... I can't really tell you when she'll show up next. Thanks. I must be going. Next time, then. Oh. Okay, we got like a billion markers on the map now. Anyone here? Jeez Louise. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. They were just all doors to exit. It's like, look at that, it's like five quest markers. That's a lot. The magpie, I mean, that's better than candy cane. But still. Oh, that's not going to be a fight when I leave this area. Can I help you? Yes, actually. I have a small favor to ask. You don't look like you need money from me. I'll get straight to the point. I have bad news for you. I know about the... the decadent parties at the palace. I know that you take part in them. What? <coughs> what are you talking about? Stop acting all innocent. I have all the evidence I need to incriminate you. Although your reputation isn't spotless, there are others who have a lot more at stake than you. What if I were to spread it around town that you boast about being there? You know what happens when tongues wag too much. That's enough! All right, all right, I'll get the message. What do you want? Ah, let's talk about Mother Cardinal. It would appear that you know the Mother Cardinal very well. I know that she borrowed money from you. I even know how much. What I want to know is why. <laughs> I have no idea. Do you really think that my clients tell me everything about their lives? Does she still owe you money? No, she always pays me back on time and with interest. Do you think she's plundering the city funds? Ha! If that were the case, the funds would have been depleted long ago. Nah, the money's coming from elsewhere. Tell me about Candy Cane. We're not close, if that's what you want to know. I just know his name, like everyone else. I mean, there are some rumors. They say he does his business in the basement of the Coin Tavern. What kind of business? Oh, nothing to do with my line of business. He deals in arena fights, which are beyond me. I would advise you to keep all of this to yourself. <laughs> I, I don't want any trouble. I will be as silent as a stone. So... How do you see things, my child? I think that the usurer is lending money to the Cardinal, and very significant sums at that. With this money, she bets on the arena fights while hiding in a big green coat. And she also gives large amounts to a certain candy cane, known for fixing fights. Not only does our dear Cornelia love betting games, but she also wouldn't think twice about cheating to win. Maybe he's just giving her advice. How can we prove anything? 
We can always try asking him. Who knows? Perhaps he will give us an answer. I mean, maybe. So we go back to the tavern and see if we can find this candy cane. Once again, still not the uh, most intense name they could have gone with. Saw loot there. I'm pretty sure I just circled the block. Candy cane is not here, at least not yet. Remember, my child, the bookmaker told us that he hangs around here at night. That's true. You're right. Let's come back later. All right. Where are we? Can I get to? Oh man, my resting spot's a bit of a distance. We're gonna go over here and check out that last question mark on the map. And see what it unveils. Whoop. Warehouse. Well, since we gotta wait till nighttime anyways, might as well head up the next quest. Sir, you are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. De Sarde. Your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? Uh, let's talk about the problems with the extremists. Your admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared, and I do not believe in coincidence. I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. Four questions? Let's talk about not secrecy. I met the representative of the Ordo Luminous, and he spoke of his fears concerning the Noughts. That hardly surprises me. That man is full of pride and arrogance, and sees evil wherever he gazes. And that bishop is not made of milk and kindness. But his questions are intriguing. He suspects you to be somehow responsible for the Malachor because you never fall prey to it. Responsible for the Malachor? <laughs> and how? Through your magic. Some sort of ritual. Do you use a magic very similar to that of the natives? I have nothing more to say about it. Those are merely the fantasies of a lunatic. More questions? Nope. Thanks. I've got everything I need. The commander will probably not tell us anything more about the North's secrets, but the documents at the harbor master's office may teach us something new, if we can stay discreet. I mean, wait, what? Upstairs, eh? for that to go south. There's a 
guy right in there, which we're just gonna scooty boot around. So uh oh. Oh, you guys. And Oh, is there more downstairs? Oops. No. One guy that we didn't stealth kill. At least it's only negative one. It's not horrible. I mean, it's only the natives that really like me right now. Days. I'm hoping to find some good loot from one of these quests. Orders from the harbor office. To the attention of the knots in charge of guarding the warehouses, it is crucial that the number of guards patrolling the most sensed warehouses be doubled. Inquisitors in disguise are spotted in the area. They must be attempting to get inside. So exercise caution and make sure not to let anyone inside these warehouses. Only the knots are allowed inside. Our secrets must be protected at all costs. This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way we'll know exactly what the knots are hiding from us. That's fair. So there shouldn't be any guards left. We're just gonna get out of here, bounce the wall, and leave. for several sailors some noughts that disappeared a few days ago sorry that doesn't ring any bells but i did hear talk like everyone else on the port but that's all you should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late they must have certainly seen something we see them everywhere and they spend their time spying on all that moves especially eyeing all that the knots are up to Ah, what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. We cannot question all the inquisitors roaming around the island. Especially considering what we've learned from Demetrius. They must be doing everything in their power to discover the Nort's secrets. Okie dokie. Wanna chat? Hello. Good day. I'm looking for two men, Norts, that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to you can imagine. And well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that is where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here. All right. We have our hitting. <laughs> we're approaching the tavern. If we're discreet, we should be able to eavesdrop on a conversation. You again. 
Why am I not surprised to see you implicated in this story of surveillance? I have no idea what you're talking about. A witness told me that you and others of your order seem to be spying on all comings and goings in the port. Two noughts were captured not long ago. You had to have seen something. You are mistaken, my son. You've been misinformed. Hmm. Allow Petrus to speak. You do know that lying is forbidden in the sacred texts. Lies from someone as pious as yourself. Petrus. All politics. Why am I not surprised to see you playing the lawyer to infidels? Remember your manners, Aloysius, and tell us politely what this is about. The Mother Cardinal will be most saddened to hear that you have shown aggression to an emissary, and you know she'll listen to me. I, I, I do not appreciate this attempt at intimidation. But very well, since you insist, these noughts were arrested. We were forced to interrogate them to bring to light their pagan rituals. It wasn't a sanctioned arrest, was it? No. The Mother Cardinal is not aware. Not yet. But as soon as we have succeeded in making them talk and they have confessed their heresy, she... Of course. Where did you take them? The coin guard has... lent us their jails and some men. We do not normally like to call upon the services of these brutes, but... We have need of their skills and discretion. These Inquisitors really don't realize the consequences of their actions. We will have to proceed with caution. That we shall. We'll be quick, swift, we'll them free. <laughs> and gain back some of the points I lost with them. Hope I can go this way. No. Ugh. Ugh. A little further to the right would have been. Or left at that point? I guess this is what we wanted. Okay, not this way. There's more of them down there. Before we dive all the way down there, let's free these guys. Do, 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 do. This is gonna go over great. A feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And it's great. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. You want to it's door on the left, eh? Oh. Coming around, ladies, gents. This one. Right. There we go, then through this. Hello. Halt. You have no authority to go any further. Do not forget that there is only one song that can make us change our minds, Greenblood. Played with golden notes. You said it. Or songs of steel. They also open doors. Um. Now, Brabham. And if I gave you this, so that you might go and have a little fun? In that case, I could certainly look the other way for a while. But be discreet. Thank you. Thank you for getting us out of there. Those Inquisitors are completely mad. They tortured us. Mm -hmm. They wanted us to admit to all manner of horrors. Stories of some demonic cult and curses of Malachor. I was of the firm belief that they were going to kill us. But you must make haste. They are planning some sort of wickedness. 
They spoke of a great purification. And after that, they did this to us. It doesn't bode well, not at all. I heard them talking about their headquarters near the palace. Maybe you'll learn something there of interest. Thank you again for freeing us. We'll be able to make it back to port on our own. We need to discover what is behind this talk of purification before they can execute their plan. And we should probably find out more about this secret first. If we do not discover anything reprehensible, we will have an easier time convincing the Mother Cardinal to intervene. Excuse me, just cutting through. Uh, not quite where I want to be. Cut through this building right here. Got a ways to go to get in there. Actually, how close are we to? Let's go hit up that fire, sleep to the other quest, and knock that out. We're close ish to our place, so. Close ish, I mean, closer than if we had taken on the other point. Time. Don't want that. We want. I'll change the quest when I get outside. It does not hang or not what we want. We want that. It's night time. He'll be out. Get this done. Handy King. So all the hubbub is about whoop, not there. Wait, where? No, oh, little further down. Excuse me, lads and lasses. Okay, now, speak. Good evening. Are you the one they call Candy Cane? Who are you? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. A legate, no less. I imagine in these cases, the one accompanying you is the famous Petrus. You seem to be very well informed. Therefore, you might be able to answer my question. What do you know about a woman in a green coat? Why would I tell you? We know that you have business with this woman, and that she is actually the Mother Cardinal. How did you... You would be better off forgetting that. That's not exactly the response I'd imagined. But nevertheless, seems rather eloquent. I told you to forget about it, or you'll soon run into trouble. Legate or no legate. Come on, it was just an innocent little conversation. Goodbye, Mr. Kane. Bye, and Godspeed. We have enough information. Really? Is the fact that she bets on fights that are potentially fixed enough for you? It's already a huge scandal. Let me just think about it for a little while. I will find a way of putting this information to good use. I have faith in you, Father. Nice. Um, uh, might. No, I'm probably better if I back out of this area. Take the long way, just to make sure we actually can make it in. Are there 
not take a nasty long detour after trying to find a shortcut. Okay. Let's go all the way. I swear I could like cut down my time so much if I just ignored half this loot most of the time. Especially since it's not overly giving me too much. through. Don't mind me just taking all your loot. Do, 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 do. Getting all the stuff. There we go, that was actually a decent item there. Admiral's notes, please have the dolphin cry of the trident repaired as quickly as possible. Also make sure to replace the barometer. And the one on board is not as precise as it should be. The crew was not able to steer clear of the storm in time, which cost us a sail. Be discreet. The Inquisitors are watching us, Admiral Cabral. I've already seen this type of engine in my uncle's court. It's used to spy upon the stars. Mm. Nothing magic nor impure therein. They're nothing but measuring instruments. These machines are extremely complex. I've never seen anything like this. Hmm. This one looks like it has a shouting dolphin etched into its side. And that. It looks like a thermometer. And this other machine. Does it really predict the weather? These instruments are incredible and I would be hard pressed to use them. But I certainly see nothing magic in here. Nor anything diabolical. For as long as they work and are really used, these instruments seem to be the product of science. And I've definitely found nothing related to the Malachor, nor a secret sect or cult. <sighs> this Domitius has let his imagination and the taste of Nort's secrets get the best of him. 